that uh, we became very good friends. He sought me off from Atlanta. Uh, I plan to return to Atlanta, Georgia uh, very soon. Um, I, have some, I laid the foundation for our transfer of the Central Committee, Central Headquarters to Georgia. And I said that was the uh, scene of the original crime, the South. It was in North Carolina, Jamestown in, uh, in uh, 1916. And, uh, or 1619, rather. I'm sorry, I got it backwards. But approximately nine slaves arrived there in chains. And this is where the original crime began slavery. And I think the South then will be the logical focal point to correct the original crime. They say that uh, criminals always receive return to the scene. And uh, I say in order to correct the original crime, that we must return to the scene. Isn't that a reaction where you're getting from Atlanta after you made that Beautiful. Uh, very beautiful reaction. Uh, the people, uh, the victims, the obvious victims, you know the victim, the, always a stair step, we have the victim on top of the victim on top of the victim until we reach some threshold we call the oppressor. And uh, in this very complex uh, social order we find that it's very difficult to pinpoint him, you see. Uh, so what we try to do is to improve the conditions of mankind. We find that man's ignorance is really uh, the oppressor. And this is whether it's racism or whether it's class oppression, it's really racism because each thing cuts its own throat. Do you whether you advocate racism or class oppression, you end up being a victim yourself because the people will correct that and you might be hurt in the process. Yeah, but it's a little tougher to make it in Atlanta down there. How about your next trial? Oh, uh, I'm very optimistic about everything. I think the man will survive. As far as my individual life, that all of us, including yourself, are doomed to death. But the uh, real enemy is that phenomena that we know nothing about, and that is death uh, that we fight against. That we fight against it with medicine, we fight against it with knowledge, we fight against racism also like that. And uh, this is the thing that we're fighting against. We're fighting against racism, we're fighting against oppression of all kinds, and we're fighting against ignorance. And people who boo, people who fail to understand the problems of uh, humanity, are really uh, re very religious because their God is large, meaning their ignorance is large, you see? Yeah, but my, my In other words, that God is not which they do not understand. As soon as they understand it, suddenly it's not God. And I say, gain your understanding, then you understand yourself, and you also understand me. And that is that we all want to live. All right, we're going. Okay, we're ready. The Chinese people are very uh, humane and friendly people. They attempt to understand all ignorance and backwardness. Uh, I, would, uh, I would suspect and anticipate that uh, Richard Nixon will receive a warm welcome, but that has no, uh, that has no uh, indication of what the results of the talks might be. The talks might be uh, successful or they might fail, but it, would, it, it will depend upon the attitude and the uh, kind of uh, the kind of language that Richard Nixon will use. Certainly, he cannot be trigger happy as he was in Attica because the Chinese people are strong people, and their land is uh, very fertile. Uh, we know that uh, the ruling circle in this country will only take advantage of victims such as uh, the prisoners Attica, the guards in Attica, and the Vietnamese people and black people in this country as well as poor white people. The party uh, is uh, at this time engaged in uh, uh, a, uh, a struggle of gaining uh, representation and in the uh, uh, institutions in our community. And uh, according to our 10-point program, this was always our fight. Uh, we've been uh, misrepresented, uh, misrepresented by the press uh, 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 for a long time, but uh, the truth always finds uh, its way out. And uh, I think that uh, history will justify our uh, past actions and uh, certainly uh, history condemns uh, things and people uh, by eliminating them. The party is uh, still very much alive and kicking and I think we must have done something right. Uh, we plan to use whatever means that's uh, effective and sufficient in order to gain our uh, desires. 
uh, we're not, uh, of course, we can't be serious about the law of this country if the country itself is not serious about it. I think first we have to make them serious about the law, and many of the laws that they're serious about are bad laws, so we have to change those. But uh, we're not going to, uh, I don't think it should be required of us to, to, uh, to limit our activities within uh, certain behaviors prescribed by this uh, corrupt system. Uh, that uh, I think we'll use the most uh, appropriate approach uh, to the resolution of the, uh, the contradiction that's here in the United States. Well, in the first place, that uh, I have absolutely no power as an individual. Uh, the power is with the people. Uh, so the real question is that uh, what are the people going to do? I said that we're going to unite and uh, become very strong and we're going to uh, free all political prisoners and prisoners of war. We'll free the Soledad Brothers Three, that's Cluche, uh, Drumgo, Fleeter, Fleeter Drumgo, and uh, George Jackson. And uh, all of the other uh, brothers there at Soledad uh, and uh, uh, white prisoners also have a case because the prisons are not rehabilitation centers, uh, they are no more than concentration camps. I plan to uh, visit uh, uh, Bobby Seale, the yes. chairman, and right. uh, all of uh, the, our party members who are in prison and also uh, uh, many other uh, political prisoners and prisoners of war. I think that includes everyone who's in prison. I would like to visit them. In the people's interest, uh, because I, as I said before, that uh, individually we're so weak until uh, it is a strategic mistake to uh, view ourselves as one person. We must view ourselves uh, because the oppressor uh, is living in a, an illusion in the first place, and uh, he wants to uh, deny the reality of death. So uh, when, does, after all, the people are the writers of all world history, are the makers of all world history, and without the people, there, there, there's nothing. So the main, the central uh, problem and uh, the central issue is... that the uh, bail may be revoked. Could you give us a statement now? I'm not going to say anything to life. Um, my treatment was uh, generally abusive and oppressive, and uh, primarily because of uh, the fact that I was a prisoner of war and a political prisoner. What do you think is going to happen with the Black Panthers now? You're losing your leaders, etc. Uh, it is true that many of our, our leaders have... Uh, been confined in uh, the concentration camps here in America. I know that the uh, Black Panther Party uh, will prevail. It's the uh, vanguard uh, of the people's struggle. And that uh, while leaders are put into prison, new leaders are born, new leaders are made. Uh, I'm confident uh, that uh, I will be uh, free to, uh, providing that we're successful in the battle that we're engaged in now, and that is to uh, revolutionize the court system. It all depends upon on this uh, problem. What's your treatment been like in jail? said to me uh, this morning that the cards appear to be stacked against you, this being so that uh, perhaps you would have to take the witness stand. Do you have any psychic reserve about uh, taking the witness stand? Uh, none whatsoever. That uh, I will only tell the truth and uh, and express my innocence, which I am innocent. So I have no uh, 
uh, uh, feeling at all against taking uh, the witness stand, as I demonstrated this morning. Right. Yes, your, your question this morning uh, about your money. Do you have any money? Uh, no, I'm, I'm in a severe state of poverty. What about the Huey Newton uh, Defense Fund? Uh, I don't know too much about the Huey Newton Defense Fund, actually. Who's Leaving paying your attorney's fee? Uh, I believe the Huey Newton Defense Fund. <laughs> You're obviously in good spirits, Huey. Why? Uh, because uh, I have the people behind me, and the people are my strength. I would, I would, uh, I think that the uh, the court uh, structure and the government is very uh, uh, low in spirit at this time because they're realizing that it's Che Guevara says uh, they're giants, but they have feet of clay because they're divorced from the people of the world. Uh, I have this strength, so uh, therefore that uh, that I'm very secure and uh, my spirit is very high, and I know that we'll have a victory. For suspect that you talk about such a campaign, why not? I mean, there are voters out here. Uh, it will notify uh, Jensen in particular, who's the, uh, who's the, the, uh, the superior there. Uh, he has to make the decision for the trial to, to uh, be tried or not. And uh, he's an elected official. And uh, so this will be a warning to him that if he, uh, if he uh, 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 goes on with this uh, miscarriage of justice, that uh, our next petitions will be our vote in the ballot box when he comes up for election to vote him out of office. The community uh, is now uh, going in the first, its first phases of organizing itself in order to attend to the ills that we've been suffering so long. Uh, it was a very hard fight, and it was a fight among class brothers and uh, friends. But uh, most of the times when we uh, enter into uh, these kind of contradictions, even among our friends, we come out with uh, something uh, in the interest of everyone. The Black Panther Party for Self-Defense is organized now throughout the nation. We are recognized internationally, and we advocate that all black people in America are taught what politics is all about and what our history is all about so that we can have self-identity and we can know where our strength is. We will know our enemies and we'll know our friends. Uh, this is a black curriculum. And we've always wanted to represent the will of the people. They're not interested in socialism at this time because they believe that they can get their just desserts in this capitalist system. When, they, when the people democratically want a change in system uh, to a socialist system, then the party will be uh, the first to uh, have solidarity. Some people have a, um, uh, a distorted view of me. And it gives me very much trouble. It's, it adds to the sort of timid personality that I already have. It makes me uh, uncomfortable uh, because I know that I can't give them all of those things that their idol is supposed to. And uh, I don't want to appear to them a fake, but I would just like to tell them that, uh, that uh, you know, I'm just another regular human being.